can of beer anyone and that's exciting isn't it why have i got a ladle in here it's amazing what you find when you start tidying up isn't it hello and welcome to my very messy very unorganized greenhouse today is the day that i'm going to get it tidied up i'm going to get it cleared out and i'm going to get it ready for use for the growing season at the moment it's absolutely no, no use to anyone so there's absolutely no order in here there's a lot of rubbish everywhere there's a lot of things i'm not using anymore i need to have a real big clear out so i'm not putting off anymore there's no more time to put it off anymore i need to get sorted so as you can see the floor you can hot like there's only this bit here that i can actually walk on the rest of it is just absolutely covered with mess okay so i've got a couple of bin bags there's a lot of stuff that definitely is for the bin there's a lot of stuff for recycling but i'm just going to get going i'm just going to get these bin bags filled up and get all the rubbish out that is my first port of call So I've just found a bucket that had what I thought was rubbish in it, but it's actually got loads of seed packets in it. So I've actually got more seeds than I thought. I thought I'd sorted them all out, but I've got some kale, I've got some calabrese, I've got loads of beans, some more kale, oh my goodness, radish, uh, basil. So these are some more bits that I can be sewing once I've tidied up. Oregano, parsley. It's amazing what you find when you start tidying up, isn't it? Cabbage, red cabbage. Wasn't going to do any cabbage, but if I've got some room, I will do some. Oh my God. My goodness. Amazing what you find when you tidy up, isn't it? And I've just got some grit in there. That was my bucket of grit that I use, but... I must have just put them in and then put some rubbish on top and then that's why I thought that there was nothing in there. Okay, so I've got a bag of gloves, which looks not very inviting. I might just run all of those through the wash because um, they are handy to have gloves down at the allotment especially. I might just run them through the wash and see how they come out. Why have I got a ladle in here? That is my question of the day. What is the strangest thing you've ever found in your greenhouse or shed or something like that? I think this has got to be one of the strangest things I've found in my greenhouse. so I've got a lot of these seed trays which are quite flimsy um, I've actually used them for a good couple of years and they're actually fine what I do with ones like this is I just try and put them in something that's a bit more sturdy so I don't actually know what this was from but I just use that and I just put that inside it and then it just makes it a bit more sturdy. So that's a little tip if you have got anything that is quite flimsy, but you still wanna make use of. I mean, it's absolutely fine, it does the job, but it's not great quality. I mean, hopefully it will still last me another couple of years, but I have got some that are a lot sturdier um, and I just use them as they are, but a little tip for you if you've got one that isn't so sturdy. I'm just clearing out this seed tray, just taking out the the soil that was left over and I've actually got one here that says oregano and it's actually got a little plant in it so I think I'm just going to water that and see if anything comes of it but I'm quite amazed at that because <laughs> that was at the allotment um, I bought this one back home from the allotment it was just in my trolley and it's been there all winter just covered with stuff so let's see what comes of that so these are all my dahlias that I've potted up and I'm just gonna put them over the other side so I can now sort out this area. And then I've got my marigolds that I sowed last week. Nothing, no sign of them yet. I'll just pop them up there as well. 
and then my tray of cosmos which not sure if you can see that but like right here i've got some little seedlings coming up so that's very exciting okay i've just found a little bit of grass seed um but i have got a bare patch of lawn so i'll use that and some grass fertilizer so i'll use that as well some lettuce seeds don't know what they are but i'll pop them in with my seeds nice thermometer so i actually remember this was in the garden when we first moved in and we moved it and it would actually be really nice to put that back up so i'm going to keep that out and hopefully get that put up this year i'm going to take this box out of here because it's just taking up a lot of room and we're not actually using it okay we've got a bit of clear space on here now which is good so i've got some more pots I have some seeds in here so I will I will use them okay so I'm about halfway through I've half done this side I've done the back I've got another rubbish bag on the go I just need to keep going now because this is where I start to lose momentum a bit and start to get sidetracked so I'm carrying on I'm still going okay so I've just found a birthday <laughs> gift bag and in it I found some pigs <laughs> if any of you watched me from the beginning all I used to find was pigs everywhere on my allotment I just used to find pigs and look I'm finding more pigs I'm actually finding pigs pig doorstops who knew can I beer anyone this is for slug traps last year I was obsessed with doing slug traps down at the allotment and um, this is obviously left over. I'm going to take that down there because I'm going to do some more. Even though I've done my nematodes, I am saying goodbye to slugs this year. So I'm going to I'm going to use this up, do some slug traps. Okay, so I've got these trunks. So this is the one I was using last year. It's quite a small basket. And then this is the one Danny from Grow Up got me for my birthday. So I am actually gonna take this down to the plot so it is there ready when I need to harvest anything. And I'm gonna take both of them down there because I just usually end up using a carrier bag or something, which is why Danny got me this for my birthday. So I'm gonna take it down to the plot. I've got a big pile of stuff to take down there actually. So that's gonna really clear it out down here. So I've got a lot of bags that can probably just go in the bin, although that could be quite handy down at the plot. So I've got a bit more room down there as well, so I can keep all this sort of stuff in the shed. I've got some netting, some bags, some old compost bags, which always come in handy down there to put things in. So I'm going to keep piling up my stuff for the allotment. I've then got lots of things that I don't know why I haven't just put it in the bin at the time. I've obviously been in a rush and just left it lying around. So, bin, bin, bin. So this is my potting up area, this bit here. And I've got a bit of a mess in here, so. Let's put all that in there. And then I've got a towel in here because the cats sleep in here when it's sunny. So I'm going to wash the towels. Lots for my washing machine today. Um, I'm just going to empty this out outside because there's just a lot of rubbish in there basically. Oops, not very nice. I'm just going to empty that out. Okay, that can go back. So that's where I do my potting up. I've got my compost, my tabletop compost bin that I use when I'm potting up. I've got all my labels and my pens and everything, which I'll leave next to that bit. So I'm going to be using these in a minute, so I'll just leave those there. And then my compost that I'm going to be using to pot up, I will leave on the side here as well, so that's ready to go. And somewhere I should have my, my potting up trowel. I'm sure it'll turn up. It'll be somewhere in here, I'm sure. Okay, so I've got some tools here in this bag so i'll just leave them as they are and just add to that as i find things does anyone else actually use these i've never got on very well with them they always 
tend to just stay really wet and I don't know they don't I never get success with them does anyone else okay this is the last push now just to try and get this completely ready for the growing season so this is actually my house plant mix I make this up myself so this is like cocoa coir bark orchid bark um perlite just lecker lots of chunky chunky things so I always keep some of that as well because I love my house plants I'm going to take that down the plot because I'll be needing that down there I don't know why I've actually got this little jug do I need this little jug in here I don't think so I think it needs to go these are my favorite favorite gloves so they're a cool job and they're actually lined they are so warm and they're so strong they're absolutely fantastic I absolutely love them really rate these okay it is actually tidy in here you can actually see the wood for the trees and I feel like I can actually start sowing some seeds now what a difference in this greenhouse now absolutely fantastic so I've got all the bits of the back that I've already started so I've got my blueberries that I need to pot up I've got my peas which I sowed last week they're coming up I've got my overwinter chilies, I've got some shallots, I have got one coriander that made it through the winter. I've got quite a lot of chilies and peppers here, which are looking great. I've got six parsleys, which again, they're actually they're looking really, really good. And the things that I discussed earlier, my cosmos and my other little seeds that I've started and my dahlias. So that's all at the back now. Underneath is all my spare pots. I've got all my tools here, not all my tools because most of them are in the garden somewhere, but I know where I can collect them now into. And I've got this pot here, which I'm gonna be sowing some stuff into. I think I'll probably do some more peas into that one. I've got my chipper here, which I do actually use, but it stays in here. All my spare compost is now underneath here. Um, and my house plant mix as well. That's all under that side. And under this side I've got some spare terracotta pots and my watering can. So I've got loads and loads of space now to be sowing some seeds. And that's exciting, isn't it? Yes it is. Okay, so now I am all ready to start sowing my seeds. So I've just gone and made a nice cup of tea. Um, but what I might do actually, I might just actually go live right now on YouTube and just have a little chat with you first. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna sow my seeds. I just had a really nice cup of tea with all of you. So thank you so much for that. I'm just now gonna sow a few bits in the greenhouse and then that'll be it for today. Um, and I feel like I've actually accomplished something. So first of all, I found these peas when I was cleaning out. So I'm gonna sow them into my container that I use for my peas. So I've got three lots of lettuce to do. So I've just found this one salad bowl. I've got all sorts. And then I've got another salad bowl mix. So I'm gonna do a few little sections of this tray. So I'm gonna do two of each and then I can just prick them out when they come out. So this is just to get them germinated. going to do some dill okay so I've sown some more peas I've sown some lettuce and some dill and what I'm actually going to do I'm not going to sow anything else now because I've got a lot more seeds now and I need to think about over sowing now so this is where I just would 
before have just kept sewing but I need to look at my plan and I need to work out what space I've got and how many seedlings I actually need like how many plants I actually need so I don't want to go OTT and I want I don't want any um I don't want I don't want too much basically I don't want to be looking after things and growing them up from seeds and potting them on when I haven't I'm not going to be able to plant them out so I'm trying to be really good this year so I'm going to leave it there for today I'm going to look at my plan tonight work out what seeds I found today in my greenhouse and what if I'm going to sow them all and where I'm going to sow them and things like that and then I'm going to go from there so thank you so much for joining me today it's been really fun to clean out the greenhouse and get some more things sewn and I will see you again soon